So I featured this fragrance on the channel not too long ago. This is Fragrance World's Heart Nail. This is supposed to be a clone of uh, Parfums de Marley's Haltane. So at that time that I had put up the video originally, I hadn't had the original sample of Haltane uh, to be able to say whether or not this was actually a good clone of that fragrance or not. But I do now have a sample of that fragrance that I've been able to try out side by side with uh, Heart Nail. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on how close the two actually come to each other. So definitely stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Jamar from Vegas Sense. And to anyone that's brand new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe. And to everyone watching, leave a like and a comment on the video, all right? So again, as stated, Heart Nail. This is the clone from Fragrance World of PDM's Haltane. And just simply put, I mean, this is a very solid clone of uh, Haltane. Now, this doesn't come, you know, this isn't like a one-to-one -one clone of that fragrance. And I would even say that this isn't even necessarily 90% close to Haltane. It definitely has its differences, but I think depending on who you are and what you, you know, maybe prefer or like in certain fragrances, this might actually be the better scent for you, um, just depending, all right? So just to kind of go over the notes of this particular scent profile, uh, the note breakdown for Haltane is gonna be clary sage, lavender, and bergamot in the top. And then in the mid, you have saffron and praline. And in the base, you have oud and cedar, all right? So the, the main difference uh, when you initially spray the two fragrances on is, to my nose, I definitely, I get more of sort of like this slightly green, slightly sort of herbal, uh, you know, and fresh sort of, you know, feeling from Haltane, all right? Whereas with Heart Nail, I feel like with Heart Nail, it's definitely, it's less sort of herbal. Um, and I would say it's more so kind of along the lines of being heavier on like that sort of spicy saffron and this, you know, sort of slightly sweet praline. Those are the, the main differences that I get for the most part throughout the entire life of the fragrance. Now, I would say as the two fragrances start to dry down, uh, Haltane and Heart Nail, they do start to become a little bit closer to each other. So I would say probably the most the fragrances ever come to each other is probably about 85% or so. And that's, you know, more so in like the, the dry down of the fragrances. But definitely in the opening, I would say this is more so kind of like a 75 to, I would say probably about an 80% closeness to, uh, you know, Haltane. Um, like I said, this one, the Heart Nail is going to be a little bit more, I would say, I would say a little bit more, you know, like masculine leaning. So both fragrances to me are still going to be like unisex, you know, fragrances. But I would say that the Parfums de Marley, uh, you know, the original one, this one to me is more so kind of just like straight down the middle unisex, where I would say the heart nail is slightly more masculine leaning, uh, but still unisex, all right? Um, I just get a little bit more of kind of like a floral sort of feel from uh, the Parfums de Marley fragrance. Uh, like I said, I'm definitely getting more of sort of like that lavender and clary sage, uh, you know, from the Parfums de Marley. You do get that, you know, in the, I would say more so in the background with Heart Nail, but I would say the main players that you're really getting in the Heart Nail are definitely, you're getting a lot more saffron. And I would say you're also, you're getting a little bit more praline as well. Um, now, it doesn't make it, you know, super sweet to the point where the heart nail becomes like a super feminine smelling scent. Um, because I think even though this one does still have more, a little bit more praline than what uh, the Parfums de Marley has, this one definitely has, in my opinion, more saffron uh, than what the Parfums de Marley does. All right. So 
the the woody notes i mean i would say they're about the same in both fragrances um this isn't at least in my opinion like a super sort of woody scent uh the oud in this fragrance is barely you know there i would say at all you can definitely kind of smell it in the background but it's not like one of the stronger notes in this fragrance um, I would say more so in the PDM, the stronger notes are going to be like the clary sage and the lavender. I also get a lot more bergamot from uh, the parfums to Marley in the opening. And then again, with the hard nail, the main players are, in my opinion, going to be mainly the saffron and the praline. All right. So in terms of performance, um, hard nail is still going to be a really good performer. Uh, I would say at least on my skin, I'm getting at least like eight to 10 hours on skin uh, with heart nail. So really, really good performance. Um, I know I've seen some people say that this fragrance is weak or, you know, that they can't really smell it. The only thing that I can think of is more than likely they're probably going nose blind to the fragrance because this is absolutely not a weak fragrance at all. Um, I would say it's pretty much it's on par for the most part with the sort of projection and longevity that i'm getting with the parfums to marley now i will say the parfums to marley does have slightly more sort of longevity so this one is at least on my skin anyway this is going to be more so closer to like that 12 plus hour mark but you know i mean again this one being like a 8 to 10 hour fragrance that you know for how you know how much less you pay for this fragrance i would say this is still going to be absolutely worth it um and like i said again the projection is pretty much on par with the uh parfums to marley i would say you're getting at least about an arm's length of projection for about like the first hour and a half or so and then it starts to you know kind of dial back a little bit so um, pretty much, I would say this is going to be, at least in my opinion, m best suited, I would say, for like the cooler weather. So like the fall and the winter, uh, I would even say probably like the early spring. But after that, I would say, you know, late spring, summer, this isn't necessarily a fragrance that I would reach for, even though this is going to be a lighter scent than something like, um, you know, Oud for Greatness, which is what this does have some similarities to, but this is absolutely a different scent uh, than what, you know, Oud for Greatness is for sure. All right. So overall, man, if I were to give this uh, clone, you know, a rating from one to 10, I would give this one a solid nine out of 10. Now, again, even though this isn't, you know, necessarily like a one-to-one -one clone to Haltane, I do actually slightly prefer the way that this fragrance is done. I do like the fact that it's just not as sort of herbal. And I would say Haltane, in, in some cases, when I kind of smell it up close, it almost, I would say gives off a slightly sort of medicinal feel to the fragrance as well. So kind of like herbal and medicinal. Whereas with this one, like I said, this is gonna be a lot more on sort of like the spicier side. And I do like the way that the praline is done in this fragrance as well, all right? So let me know, have you all actually smelled hard nail? Um, have you smelled uh, Haltane from Parfums to Marley? And do you agree with my assessment of the two fragrances? Uh, and do you actually prefer this, you know, the heart nail over the Parfums to Marley uh, Haltane the way that I do? All right. So let me know in the comments below. And once again, if you're brand new to the channel, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe. And again, that's Jamar from Vegas Sense. I'll see you on the next video.